There's been no shortage of inspirational stories stemming from cancer these days, emotional tales with serious subjects, and some of those stories involve the ones used to telling stories. ESPN's Holly Rowe is certainly no exception. Stemming or surviving on the sideline. Her story, Brad Brown, is more in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. Fight is dominating this game. How did your defense change the momentum for you? Over the course of more than 20 years, Holly Rowe has become one of ESPN's most recognizable and reliable reporters. On Monday night, Holly spoke at Ball State University. The path that I've been on is exactly where they're trying to go. And so if I can say anything to them that helps them or gives them an idea or gives them some inspiration of to not give up and to keep after it. Much like many of these students, she was once an aspiring sportscaster who knew from an early age exactly what she wanted to do. My passion started going to BYU football games when I was five years old, and now at 52, I'm still getting paid to watch football. Her story recently included a battle with melanoma. Extensive chemotherapy nearly took her away from the job she loves. But a constant desire to stay working and to continue being at the games kept her going forward. And this August, Holly finished her final round of chemo. I didn't like set out and have this plan to be public about my cancer. It just kind of became public. And then I got so much love and support that then I was like, well, this is, this is helping me, you know, like, Athletes are in the game and people are cheering them on all the time. As a cancer patient, it helps me to have people cheering me on. I, I feel like that's what sports are all about. Now she is the role model and inspiration for a new generation of young broadcasting hopefuls. Get through it and don't let it beat you down. The, the, the better part of life is waiting for you on the other side. And I promise, promise, promise that with hard work and doing what you love, you'll get there. I've never worked a day in my life. I'm that person, as annoying as that sounds, I'm that person. So that's what I want for them. You know, that's all I want for the younger generation is for them to find that, that job or that passion that makes them happy because I found it and I'm lucky. In Muncie, Brad Brown, RTV6 Sports. Uh,